Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we're going to show you how to operate a valve core removal tool. Now these tools were initially designed to remove the damaged valve cores from systems so that we didn't have to go through all the trouble of recovering the gas from the system before we removed and replaced the damaged valve cores. For that reason, the initial design of this tool wasn't really rated for vacuum. The new models though are rated for vacuum and we use them to remove valve cores from systems before we run the evacuation process. Valve cores are some of the most restrictive parts of the system and by removing them before we start the evacuation, we actually speed up the process exponentially. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so this is your standard valve core removal tool. Taking a look, let's just swap it around so you can see the brand name. This is a JB Industries valve core removal tool. So we have the swivel head over here that fits onto the valve port of the machine that you're working on. She just slides on like that. You've got the side port where we generally attach our micron gauge. And what I tend to do is I tend to remove the valve core from that side port. There's usually one in there and I've removed it just so that we can have um, fast flow through the micron gauge as well. Then we have the ball valve which we will shut and open like that so that we can isolate the system from the vacuum pump or your gauge line. And over here we have another swivel fitting which fits onto the stem base which is the actual part that we use to remove the valve core from the system. If we look inside there you can actually see that's the actual tool that pulls the valve core out. And this is where we fit our gauges and that is how she will fit onto the system. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to grab our black gold vacuum pump oil because we're going to put just a little dab on the contact point between our tool and the actual system port. Now we're going to attach our valve core removal tool to the system. Just make sure that it's nice and straight as you attach it to the system. Um, you'd hate to cross thread this. Also, when you put the swivel fitting onto the machine, do not use a tool, just hand tighten it. Don't use a tool to tighten it further because you can compress that o-ring which will make it very difficult for you to get the valve core out. Just make sure that's nice and tight and don't use a tool to tighten it. Now we'll shut the ball valve. Now it's important to note that as the ball valve is closed, that the valve stem actually can't go all the way in to reach the valve core tool because it's obviously going to hit the ball valve. So that ball valve needs to be in an open position before you can actually push the valve core stem all the way in so that it can grab that, that valve core. Now what we'll do is, we'll basically start undoing that valve core. Very slowly, we'll just twist and it's important that you apply pressure towards the system while you're doing this. The reason for applying the pressure towards the system is just so that whatever pressure may still be in the system doesn't push the, the, the tool stem out. So you're pushing towards the system to sort of counteract the system pressure that might still be in there. Right. 
right, and now the next step is just to undo that stem base swivel so that we can remove that valve core from the system. And there she comes out nicely. There she is, fitting snug inside the tool. And because the bore valve is closed, the, isolate, the, the system is isolated from the actual uh, exit port. Right, now we're just going to apply some vacuum pump oil to the contact point again between our tool and our vacuum dedicated hose. And then we're going to attach the wide diameter vacuum dedicated hose to the system so we can start our evacuation process. Again, just hand tighten and don't use any tools to over tighten that. Thing. There she is, ready to go, wide diameter hose and what we're going to do is we're just going to open the bore valve so that we can start the evacuation process. Okay now that we've completed our vacuum and we've broken the vacuum with refrigerant we're going to show you how to reinstall the valve core into the system with pressure in the system. First thing we have to do is we've got to close the bore valve to isolate the system so that we don't lose any of the refrigerant to the atmosphere. Then we're going to reinstall the valve core to the system. First thing we'll do, we'll remove the gauge line from the valve core tool. Remember the bore valve is closed so we're not losing any gas. Then we pull the valve core stem back and we just get the swivel head. Firstly, we have to go nice and straight there so that we stay attached to the valve core. We get the swivel head on and we make sure we're not cross reading that as we reconnect it to the valve core tool. Once that's nicely hand tightened, the valve stem out, bore valve is closed. You can then open the bore valve, which now opens the system to the tool, and you can then push the stem in to get the, the valve core back in. As you can see, the system pressure is actually pushing the valve core stem back. And that's why, as I mentioned earlier, you've got to sort of apply forward pressure as you're twisting the valve core stem. There we go. We've got that tightened nicely. So we should be able to pull the stem back. And if all was done properly, we can close the bore valve and remove the valve core stem and we shouldn't get any gas seeping from the system. Sometimes it just takes a bit of time for us to counter that pressure. There she's off, no gas seeping from the system, that's perfect. And as we open the bore valve, we shouldn't get any gas either seeping from the system. We do it gradually and there we go. That's a perfect seal. Valve core has been perfectly reinstalled. So we just remove the valve core tool from the system. We should still be getting no refrigerant out there. And then we'll just cap off the service port. And that's it guys, it's that simple. Let's get that service port capped off and that's it. That's the complete removal and refitting of the valve core. Anyway guys, that's the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.